Why, hello there, everyone. Welcome back. Might wait for just a tad more to get some more people on board. Also, we're also waiting for Stormy to come back. I thought she was going to tell me to come up, but, you know, I was just sitting <laughs> I gave you a 30-second warning. Did you? Did you text me or did you say it? I didn't hear you say anything. <laughs> you texted me. Okay, I see your DMs. Okay. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. I'm always thinking two steps ahead of you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, um, since we've already gone over the map modes earlier, I don't really think there's any reason to go over them now. Nah, not really. Go ahead and talk about the two teams. No, all that right. TTO, TTO and Outcast Ninjas. I am excited to see Outcast Ninjas again. Mm, uh, definitely. Coming off coming off a big win, very intense against Deadlock last week, just barely scathing it with their team when they said three to two in epic fashion. So, I'm really interested to see how Outcast Ninjas goes against Six Dollar Lovers. Six Dollar Lovers has a point to prove now, especially now they're kind of in a tight spot with only four members. Mm -hmm. So now I'm waiting to see how to go up the team like Outcast Ninjas. They just they're coming off destroying Pufferfish Party from last week. Yeah, that so was maybe they're confident. Yeah. yeah, so maybe their confidence is up. Maybe they're ready to go ahead and take on Outcast Ninjas, but. The full storyline isn't just from this match. I think we need to go in a bit more depth about Outcast Ninja. To where I'm seeing that I need to see them go against teams like, you know, Merc West Falcon, uh, Eclipse, that, which team you're on. They, I got to see them go against y'all. I got to see them go against, uh, I have to see them go against like these other strong teams. They already beat one of them, which is Deadlock, which is really strong here in this league. So, I'm fairly excited to see how they fare against here. But if I were to choose who would win this match, I'm obviously being biased, but I'm leaning towards Outcast Ninja. I've just seen so much incredible stuff come out of them, so I feel like they will take this match in a 3 0 fashion. Yeah. Definitely super excited for it, anyways. Well, we are currently waiting for them to. Choose their weapons. Okay. Ooh. Oh, they're like a couple of seconds underway until we get our match started. It's pretty cool. Um. So, what's the first map again? I kind of forgot because you know I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's Humpback Pump Track with Splat Zones. Okay. If you don't have two Booyah Bombs you're throwing. That's yeah, all basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, okay, if you don't have at least one Booyah Bomb, you just lost this match. That's all I gotta say. Have your Booyah Bombs ready. Mm. I'm expecting to see a, maybe a K-Pro on the side of Outcast Ninjas, or if they not, maybe a, you know, heavy remix. Those are the two main popular Booyah Bombs, but we're gonna well, see what they, what they bring out here. TTL already pulling out that double Ria as you predicted. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Alka's Ninja's only... Alright, Winter I'm trying to... On the side of and now, with the... Alka Ninja's actually getting two picks already, right? Right off the bat. That's two down on the side of Pixel level. The armor popped again. Two armors and two points out. Three uh, down on... Two armors. Wow. I think it was working fast. And there was the player of the week, a week to win here, already doing, already putting work. Gets a double kill. Good That's job, Winter. Right Let's go, Winter. Outcast Ninja is already holding supremacy back. within the first minute of the match. Forcing TTL Indeed. just to have to Indeed. scramble on the spawn. Winter gets another pick. He, he, he might be able to get the other one here. Dick Dollover is going to scramble trying to get back to Noah. As they're two down once again, they need to stop feeding in and supporting the special. But 
They're not gonna do that. He just popped a boy of our friend. I guess it's very it's odd just, time to pop a boy of our Yeah, agree. And armor is popped, and once again, Winston on another pick. Winston is just going in now. Would it be able to catch the zone here, though? Pretty close. Does not here? seem like it. No. Wow. Okay, already good. a good. stupid fast game. Destroying. Mm -hmm. Just destroying Dick Diary. Incredible. That was brutal. Man. Well. You gotta, you gotta okay. get some credit over here to the Outcast Ninjas. Like, we always talk about Winter. We talk about Shin. Shin is an amazing dually player. But let's talk about Jorian. He is a great, like, low-level support player. And I feel like he puts in a lot of work a lot of people don't acknowledge. And he just, he, and he just, Giving the same armor, you know? Of course, they are a team notoriously that runs double armor, but we can't leave Jordan out the picture. He does work as well. Mm hmm. Definitely. What, what happened Definitely. there with that match just takes out lovers. We're not coordinating specials and just got wrecked. And also, like, it's not like you can build specials anyway, because, like, that supremacy within the very first 30 seconds of the match just. Like they couldn't even escape spawn without dying. Like Yeah. Just you just we just we were spectating the whole time. We just see Winter just getting pick after pick. I don't think I don't think I ever seen Winter go down that game and that's a problem. If you have like a support slash slayer just alive the whole time, you're not gonna get anywhere near that zone. I would be that's pretty much absolutely bad. terrified to face against them. <laughs> Yeah, I will. Yeah, man. Especially, so scary to go up against a team like Outcast Ninjas. And no offense, they not leverage, but coming off a team like Perfect Party, you're not, you're not exactly ready to go against the monsters yeah. that is like, that is these ninjas. You went from complete opposite sides of the spectrum, like it, like within a week. Yeah, exactly. You got you basically went from. A team that's like mid to bottom tier here in the academy, and then you go against a team that's basically dang near mid to top tier. And now they need to pull themselves together, get themselves mentally ready, and come back on this next map in mode for the next, which is, I believe, the next map is uh oh, that's my question, Clan Blitz at <laughs> uh well, Albacore, and we're seeing the comps already. Very no back line on a side of Outcast Ninjas. Very really? interesting. Wow. Also, a very interesting choice on the Forge. I mean, rarely see Forge these days. Well, you honestly really don't. You, no you normally just see a pro, but I can't wait to see Bubbles or better yet, Tweezers if they want to go for Bubbles. But one down on the side of Outcast Ninjas. Six Dollar is rushing their basket already. Wow, they're looking like they want to be aggressive. They want to make their push, but Outcast Ninjas are already saying no. Get out of here. We're going to body you all as, as they are two down, three down almost. And there goes and, the CPS. Yeah, three down now. Well, it is really the and junior I'll, party. Yeah, Outcast Ninjas already showing their dominance. Six all over, already on their back on their defense, but they got us a bit in clinic here. I love it. Getting, really just pushed back into the base yet again. Winter is working, getting those beautiful picks. Winter! Oh my god, Winter. Uh, uh, at this point, you might as well just call me a Winter fanboy. He is <laughs> an amazing Night of the I respect anyone who can play Night of the Sky well, because I am a Night of the Sky man myself. Big props to this player here. He's putting in a lot of work. If this guy lovers want to go ahead and win, you got to destroy Winter. You cannot leave Winter alive, or he will do things like this. He will make you panic. But and as you see, three of them that. are rushing Winter, and oh my God. Gonna I, don't I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. It doesn't Winter. matter. Winter! Winter. Oh my, you triple! You wake the quad! He gets the quad! Winter! Oh my, it doesn't matter. Winter just said, it doesn't matter how, how many people you got come at me, Yo, I will destroy all Splatoon of you. 2 with Winter is like that 1v1000 game that we've always wanted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. But three down, a full wipe on a set of Outcast Ninja at 6 down leverage. The main defense, but oh, we have a defense. 
the K oh. shot on Dick already. But it's already past the 50 mark. <laughs> yeah, it's already past 50, so they gotta keep playing Sally. And you already gotta do it once, so I don't see them playing Sally, <laughs> unfortunately. Rest in peace, Dick Sky lovers. You see Jordan here on his junior here getting another pick. This is this might be a KO. And, and I think Dick Sky lovers at this point are gonna miss that Pretty much, there's no one down. They have all their questions. The city gets close down again. Yeah, he just looks like it's <laughs> just not even allowing them to even get any more. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look this is, at this. This is starting to become sad at this point. There we yeah. go. Just in their misery. <laughs> <laughs> even with the DC, I feel like I could have just still would have won. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. That, that was, that, that was something. Indeed, that was something. Winter, man, 12! In, in, in just under two minutes, 12! That's... Of course, some of them were a six from the armors, but still, we saw in the camera, he's just, four people basically targeting him, he doesn't care. Mm -mm. He just destroyed them. That was insane. <laughs> <laughs> like wow, I wish I could play as well as that. Oh, man, I play ninety six myself. Of course, I'm going up against stronger teams, but it's like that's just impressive to see. Every to single someone time. who can play ninety six that well. Everyone, every because single time I play ninety six, like I my RNG is just down the drain for some reason. <laughs> Shoot, Winter doesn't have any RNG. It looks mm -hmm. like it, like. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's like the crosshair like, doesn't even matter. It's, it's just gonna hit him no matter what. I know, <laughs> and his movements are so are so clean. Like you saw, Thick Dollar has had such a hard time picking them off, picking them off, literally. And what Thick Dollar needs to do, I'm sorry. At this point, you should gotta you gotta break Winter's legs or something. You gotta break <laughs> his kneecaps. You gotta snap him or something. <laughs> Shoot, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Like, we need, right. we need Winter to live in Paris. Live in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> we, we need Winter to live Honestly. in Paris and then just get destroyed by Splatoon 3. Honestly, because I've played against Alcatraz before in a tournament, and the first thing I tell my team is destroy him. Like, this is just <laughs> no breeding room. Like, don't even give them a chance. Don't even give them a chance. And we see here on... Power control now. Ingwa, a very interesting map in the mode. So much to the comp. See, your standard comps come out at six dollars. You know what? We didn't talk about this. But... Yes, of course, ninety six. But you know what? We didn't talk about this. The Glugas from Shin. Oh, uh, he's always been a catcher player to me. So I'm really interested to see how he will play here on these Glugas. As we see now, six dollars are ready to get in their armor. Oh, but oh no, but a DC. That's a uh, DC on the it's side. It's winter. Of... No, or your hero has <laughs> fallen. No. Do do do. Do do do. No, okay. Okay, ninjas are going to let them KO so uh, we can get a replay going. Yo, okay, well, no fresh being the blade bait, get Beyblade. We, we need to close up of this Beyblade action. Hold on. I <laughs> can't even tell what he's doing. Fresh. Beyblade. Yes, there you go. <laughs> <Just> let it rip. <laughs> oh, I caught my getting it on the action too with that rate. Oh no! <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> Jorian with the with the, the the revenge for his fallen comrade. Yes. <laughs> Man, hey, twenty dollars a year. Come on now. Come on now, twenty dollars a year. You know, honestly, but like the the Bowser's theory, internet is actually half decent. I said it. It is. It is half decent. Like it, it impressed me honestly because I was expecting to play with a bunch of lag with my friends, but it 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 was pretty good. You know, so I'm mean, a little proper Nintendo on that. But as far as platoon related, their internet sucks. They have no trash connection. They Come went to Paris. We need. <laughs> and, and, and then the Eiffel Tower just kicked their router. 
<laughs> chill, bro, chill out. Yo, chill out. Chill out with these five is, bro. We are all free. <laughs> Yo. One so of what what TTL's, like, parents, like, was ordered just to kick Winter's around her. In... Yo, oh, God. You know, it's so convenient how it was Winter's, bro. They cut, bro, like, like Zach said yesterday. They called up Reggie and said, disconnect Winter's Rodder. We don't need to deal with him anymore. <laughs> Winter is still listening in the PP. Did Winter die? Oh, he's not in the PP. Ah, they'll be, I mean, I mean, we always talk about Winter. Outcast Ninjas has a pretty large roster. I'm sure they can just, even without Winter, I feel like they can still pull through and win this. And they can just pull anybody else in and they'll still win this game. I'm sure. But gotta give credit to Thick Thigh Lovers. Okay, I'm kidding. Oh, uh, who am I kidding? They're getting absolutely, uh, they're getting absolutely wrecked right now. Oh my god, yeah. All right, but yeah, maybe we, we maybe gonna... this could be a. Uh, go ahead. Hmm? What's up? I have news on I was Winter. Saying that. What's up? Winter isn't dead. Just needs to reset her Wi-Fi. Reset her Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure that what there's they, no kick they... holes in it or anything. <laughs> well, they go ahead and do that. Yeah. So, what do you think? What, how do you, how the stick that lovers come back and reverse mm. fleet outcast ninja somehow? How, how uh, do they come back? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh quadruple backline. Quadruple backline. How would that work for them? Because they can outrage winter. In like everyone else, oh, really? except like you can, they can get everyone. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I mean, like credit to like I'm. I'm not gonna say Winter is the entire team because you know it takes a valiant team effort mm. for a team to be good. And Outcast Ninjas have done that. But we just, but you know, I know we talk about Winter, but we gotta give credit when credit is due. Winter is Winter. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. Like no mm -hmm. doubt. Like no doubt, when, like Winter and Shin together, I don't know what Jorian was thinking, but that was some that is some evil intention <laughs> in the mind when you put those two together. He is a Jorian the captain is a mastermind putting these two together. Like he he wrote he wrote like God's plan right there is that this is what it's gonna be, and it's just a massacre for anyone going up against. Uh... Him. Predictions for top two? For what? You think you think uh Alcast Ninjas can win this whole thing? Just this whole this whole thing? Yeah. See, this is, see that's the, see that's the thing. Look, I've seen them going against Deadlock, which they barely managed to escape alive. Mm -hmm. Which in three of those matches they had to make comebacks on. So they could still lose to Deadlock. But I haven't seen them go against Eternal. Merc with Fal I haven't seen them go against Merc with Falcons. I didn't see them go against uh, what's that other uh British one? I well those two teams, Merc with Falcons, Eternal, and Eclipse, your, which is your team. I gotta see them go against those three until I can say something. But for the most part, but for the most part, I can't like. They are a strong team, but are they better than Eclipse? Particularly your team, I don't, I don't think so. Honestly, I would feel like y'all would beat them, maybe, on your <laughs> good day. That's my, that's just my opinion. That's just me talking. And eternal, see that, that's a struggle. That's a fight. That's mm -hmm. a matchup. I am so hyped to see eternal. <gasps> we have an update on winter. So what is it? Winter's in the PV. Let's the go. router has become unkicked. <laughs> Let's go. So maybe they can like ready up now so we can start it headed into our next match. To the hopefully. Uh so yeah, I just got I just have to see Al Alcast Ninjas, they've played people, but they haven't played everybody yet. You know? Like mm -hmm. for example, you your team Eclipse, y'all have played pretty much everyone almost everyone. Y'all already beat Merc West Falcons, y'all already beat Eternal. Yeah. So at this point, I'm yeah. going to be honest, y'all, y'all pretty much almost locked y'all spot in playoffs, almost, almost. All right, well, so we, I, we're heading into oh, yeah. our game. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let's get, let's get, let's get it going. No, you good. All right. <laughs>
Hopefully no DCs. Indeed. Uh, they gotta keep the same comp, so we shouldn't see any comp changes here. Okay, I think we do. I think we see a splash. Oh no, it's same comp, I think. Yeah, it's same comp. We see a splash come out on the side of our pet ninja. That's very interesting. It's probably gonna be aggressive if up in that base of uh, textile leathers at armor. But oh! Oh, oh, let's go! This is a game, bro! Give the triple! Let's go! Let's Bye go! Triple. Oh, Yo, let's but go. Winter, well, of but course, guess, hanging on. Shutting him down. Now, Winter is going to get some of his own. He's going to get a triple of <laughs> his own. He's going to say, oh, you want to pop off? No, I can pop off even more. Just turning it back completely. Nice shot there by Winter. Denial. Man, that is a yeah, that is crazy that came from Dick Dialogue, so just coming out and popping off again and getting another pick. Let's go. This is what I've been waiting to see. They're fighting back. Two down on the side of Alcatraz. And three down on the side of Alcatraz. A nice place on too long. And now they're going to get their push started. They, they are just putting pressure on them now. They had enough. They're done with it. They, they're they're done like, with it. They had enough. When Winter gets all the attention, you know, we want some too. Uh, shoot, they got my attention. I am very interested to see how they're going to play now, but this guy here is getting a very bad. Oh my! Goodbye, man. <laughs> Goodbye, man. <laughs> and now, we down on the side of Dick Bow Lovers. And now, I've got Ninjas. It's their turn to respond to that, to that push they got. And they're going to respond fast as this flash gets a pick. And that was three down on the side of Dick Dollar. And that's, that's, full that's a white. white. Wow, a full white coming in here now. Armor is caught. Dick Dollar lovers need to be patient. They need to not feed in. But as I said, the K-Pro rushes in by himself. And this is going to be trouble. And <laughs> the tower is still being pushed. Auburn barely holding on. And there he's comes out here, the suction bomb it's a fucking bomb rush. And he's in, oh, he's in the corner. Oh, oh my god, he gets two. Let's go. Alcat is in such a hype. Yo, B they do B they have another white. BTU Let's go. popping off in that last few seconds. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Wait. Okay, guys. <laughs> they wanted to get one more kill. <laughs> <laughs> they needed it for the K. They, want, they wanted it for the stats. They wanted it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got to pat, they got to pat all those stats. Man, hey, just, okay. See, when I said that Outcast Ninjas was going to 3-0, Dick Dollar Lovers, I didn't think it would be like this. Oh, my God. I didn't yeah. think it would be that yeah. dominant. That was massive was, destruction right there. Yeah. See, that kind of scares me because now I'm kind I'm sorry. I'm, if you are not as good as Dick Dollar Lovers here in the Academy League, if you got to go get Outcast Ninjas, I'm praying for you. <laughs> I pray for you. <laughs> wow. Just just straight, just proving their dominance. Proving they belong. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Aika, for clipping the goodbye, man. <laughs> uh... All right. Well. Sorry about that. But they just, they just came in, asserting their dominance, had control of that map the entire game. And you know what? Credit to Dick Lovers. That K Pro just coming in and just, you know, competing with Winter. They had a little showdown. They had a little showdown, you know? Yeah. Three, 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 We're trying to see three. how many it kills each could get. Yeah, just like shredding each of their teammates, you know? So that was fun to watch. But Grandless and Alcat Ninja just went in that game. Dick Lovers, they're still in it. They're not out. Yeah, they, they have one win on them, I believe, from beating from this party. So. They're still in contention for playoffs, so good luck to them. Definitely. Well, we're going to go ahead and take that five-minute break, and we will come back with some more Splatoon 2 action. Let's go. See you guys later. That face that is usually covered by her phone has finally made
Why, hello there, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, tonight, uh, after that incredible match between TTL and Outcast Ninjas, we now welcome got back. Astro and Ink Insurance Agent Ink Insurance. That that's that's so fun to say. Insurance <laughs> agency. <laughs> like I gotta say, yo. I got to say, I'm excited for this match. I've seen both these teams play. Both of these teams took Eternal to game five and both lost, Sally. Both of these teams lost to Eternal three to two in a very close set. So I'm excited to see uh, these teams who comes out on top. I love Astro. I love Space. Space is the captain. I remember Dweeb on those buckets. Can't remember trash from that backliner. Give me that insurance agency. They are a new team. Both these teams have a really good machine player. They have really good machine players that I've seen. But, however, I got to give the edge to insur ins insurance, insurance agency. agency. In the insurance agency. Because of one thing, they have a not player who is really <sighs> deadly. They have, a, they have a deadly knot player. And that knot can just easily outplay those two buckets on the side of Astro. Unless the backliner on Astro puts in a ton of work, then they're going to struggle mm -hmm. a lot. So I'm going with insurance agency just because of that. All right. Honestly, I'm putting my vote on Astro. Really? Well, <laughs> why Astro? Well, why? honestly, it's because I just have a friend on that team, <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, like I feel like I feel like the games be between, like, as you called back to Eternal, I I feel like those games were like I feel Astro cut it a lot more closer, and it was was only you right only due to uh uh like a a really bad pop of Stingray. I mean, yeah, you're right. I remember, yeah, they definitely keep it closer. But the thing is, is that the last time I saw Astro was against Logstar. And I'm not going to lie. A, it was a 3-0, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a was convincing 3-0. Mm -hmm. All the matches were a little bit really close between Astro. So maybe they just had an off day that day or something. But 
I just got to give the upper edge an insurance agency. All Ooh, right. I've seen play against each well, other. Play against each other. And, and, wait, wait. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Remember how you were talking about one and a half, three fourths? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. The thing is, is that they were playing. One and a, one and a half, three fourths was playing on that day, too. Yeah. And insurance agency still kept it close. So I'm leaning towards them. I'm honestly leaning towards them. All right. Insurance agency. Back when the roster of Eternal was like had Advocate and Flash, though, I mean that was still a really strong team, in my opinion. So honestly, this can go either way. Maybe we can get a game five out of this. You know? Yeah. We'll see. You know, we'll see what these maybe the two forward. teams that went against Eternal will adopt their strategy. <laughs> maybe so. We'll see. We'll see how they fare against each other as they go to remember the first match is Humpback Zone. So. Like I said before, you don't have a booyah bomb, you're throwing. Mm-hmm. I do, I do expect both teams to run a machine. Like no doubt about that. I'm not doubting that at yeah, all. Both machines teams. are fun on this map. Indeed, they are. Um. So, what do you expect to come up for the backliners? Do you see a charger or hydra or a hydra? Uh, mm, I, I would. Honestly, make the call out of a Hydra or a Heavy. Because, honestly, like, right, Chargers right. on this map is a little jank. Because, like, of all the slopes. True, it is. Because, back on Persistence, we had NTR Charger players. She hated... <laughs> I would not be on that her. map. Yeah. Yeah, she hated sniping on that map. We had a, a very good background in Garifal, who we always use on that map. Just to play he would, like, just get 12 Booyahs a game. <laughs> on that map, it was just <laughs> so yeah. I do expect to see heavy splatters come out from both sides. I don't know about a whole charger, but you know, maybe the charger pick the counter heavy pick and they can just focus on picking off the heavy more. Well, we're officially now heading into game one. Can't wait to see the comps. Oh, but it's Let's go. Interesting Very choice. You see double armor come out once again on the side of Astro. And you see a junior on the side of Future Agency as Astro goes the first one to lose a player. Oh, wait, oh, but they trade it back. And like I said, this will be a close man. Armor pop on the side of Future Agency as they're going to catch each other first. And what like, I was going to shoot right back. Dang, <laughs> this is really a back and forth. But it does seem like injury match is getting pushed back a bit. Indeed, match just started, but oh no, I don't think that was a good idea at all. He's gonna pay for that. He's looking so good out here. He's probably Ooh. gonna die. Oh, but no, a <laughs> nice play. But Sally just does get picked off as Asher was gonna hold the team now. And they are just pushing up on a lot of pressure on their plat. Ball are coming in. Not very smart. Ball is in by himself with no help from the team. Yeah, you're probably for the most part. Oh. Oh, oh, wow, we're getting oh, that nice red. Pick on the but not quite killing. The two, let's oh, they're going to pressure. They're going to piss through here. And it looks like Asher was just going to keep hanging on to the stone. As one down on the side of your energy gets their armor flare, so that could be trouble for them. They get the pick on their sponsor. Oh, this could be game. It just took place all the game. This is the last one that game. This is going to be game. I uh, I think I think I guessed it. Oh wow! Quick win to Astral. <laughs> See, I feel bad because um I told my friend who they should bet on. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Insurance AG or Astral? I say I say bet on insurance. He gonna put one K on them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh no, Stormy. Oh no. Stormy, what have you done? I mean, okay, it, there's still there's still comeback potential. There is still comeback potential. Let's all remember that. I mean, it's only one game, so you can't really tell just off that.
<laughs> I promise, ep Epic Pikachu. I I I do not own any commentator's curse whatsoever. IPS. Uh, bet bet on Astro. Nice. Hope you get returns on that. I think Stormy has died. Rip and chat for Stormy. Well then, I uh, weapons honestly like we've seen a lot of bubbles coming out from every team. So honestly, I expect either a forge or actually no, a squeeze. I actually expect a squeezer just because of how good it is with bubbles. But speaking of weapons, here comes the game. Here we go. Game uh, two. Here, Clamblet on Albuquerque Hotel. Going to help you. We're going to see some long range weapons come out here, most likely. See a Hydra mm. on the side of Astro. Ooh, and a K Rapid. Oh, they are going lethal here on this map. Looks like they have pop advantage. As you see, Nick here on his charger on the side of Eastern Agency. We're not really seeing any aggression coming out apart from that try right now. Agree. I don't. I don't think I agree with a try on this match, though. Yeah, it's a little part. bit of an odd pick since tries kind of drive in charging. Yeah, exactly. But they're going to mainly be throwing bombs and popping their ego, I guess. So Armory is popped on the side of Astro, and now they need to. They seem like the worst of a special. They didn't really get anything done with it. We see a power clamp moment. Oh, never mind. I take that back. They pick up. They pick up the charges. <laughs> Such an odd jump in. Back in but, you know, a very odd jump in. Very questionable. They could have just swam down up there and avoided everything. Yeah, I agree. But they and do at least get the clamps in. Astro get the push. Two down on the side of insurance agency. Ooh. Three down on insurance agency. This is trouble. Two down on Astro, though. Nick. As the last one at the pick, Nick on his charger. Then he's gonna top right side, and now he needs to be careful. A nice pick, he a nice, nice pick, pick there. From Nick. But they're still not stopping the form from happening. They're two going down once again, and they're gonna throw more clams in. Wow, Hardy the 35, and I believe that's the end of the push. Yeah, no one's nerfed. It is. But maybe I guess, maybe I discounted Astro a little bit too much. They are taking it to insurance agency as of right now, but they have their own. Power clamp form and they have armor ready. That's already, but oh, he's in a 2v1. Yeah. He's not gonna win that. I have a problem with feeding myself with an end zap. While you might have yeah. a lot of killing power, it, it's mainly nice to use it with someone else. It is. And you see Faith here getting another pick. Nice job there by Faith. I want to give the team map advantage, map control. They have control of today and the right side, so they're pretty much ready for another push. They can just make another power clamp. As you see a rap bit of Astro here trying to push the shot, but the try does get picked off, and Insure Agency is looking to make this push way back in, but they're getting pushed from all sides. Armor is top once again. Baller coming out from Astro, just trying to take out as many people as possible. You see this double armor cuff that Astro always runs and it just it just pinches their opponents like that and get them in the worst spot possible. Like Dweeb here on this washer, then you have Space here, Space here on this end zap, and then you got the Hydra. Just they always run double armor, which is a very good thing. It's a very hard cost to counter. And two down inside of Insurance Agency, they can get the push started. Three down now, oh. technically. Nito uh, does go a down. A Delaying white, yeah, a delaying white thing. This is gonna be another push for Astro. And we already see them piling oh, they, on those oh clamps. My, and... They wanna KO? Yo, that was a quick last 
push. They just came in and... Okay, so let me go ahead <laughs> and take back what I said. Are you apologizing you know, to your friends right now? Because you better I, be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Astro. You know, like, they come in, they came in here. I think they heard what I said and said, uh -uh. Oh, heck nah, boy. We're going we to come in here body insurance agency and win this match and i and you know what respect respect you're doing your thing <laughs> oh man my friend is going to kill me i'm Probably. if they bet on insurance agency they're going to they're going to kill me but it's epic, not over yet epic pikachu it's not over yet epic pikachu just hurting right now <laughs> I'm so i know sorry, but epic. i don't know like I don't know if it's the same roster from when I saw them play Insurance Agent play against Eternal, but when they put it, when Insurance Agent played against Eternal, it looked so close. And it looked like they could have won that set. And now I'm thinking they're going to go to Astro and have a really good game with it, but they're just getting destroyed. Maybe it's not the same lineup because they do have like a plenty of members. I like, I don't see that Nautilus that I was telling you about. I don't see him. Mm -hmm. That's that could be a fact. That could be a factor. But honestly, the way they're getting beat is so convincing <laughs> enough to the point to where I'm kind of like I don't think, I don't think that not would even matter, you know. Mm -hmm. But Astro with a two zero lead, and I'm looking to to make another easy three zero hopefully in this last mode, which is Tower Control Ink Blood. Well, it's not the last mode, but it can be the last mode. Astro wins. Well, the next mode will be tower control and ink blot. So, what do you think of that? Um, I need. Well, I'm going to be honest. Astro has a major advantage now with that bleep on that tri slot shoot. Then you got the backliner. Then you got uh the machine. Then you got space, and they end up they in double armor just on that map. I mean, you don't have to run double armor on that map to be good, but for the most part, though. It works consecutively well. It does. Oh crap, I just realized. Uh, they started. Ah. Oh, they started. Oh, let's go. Oh, wow. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. We see, like I talked about that. Like I said, I tried machine. It ends up coming out once again for us out of Astro. As we see, pretty much almost the same comp on the side of uh, insurance agency as they. I now looking to hopefully take back this game. Go. 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 Go over. Go over. What? I can't see. All right. There we go. A little bit of technical difficulty, ah, but it's okay. Sorry about that. It's all right. Baller, Baller gets popped here on the side on the right of Ikker NG, but nothing gets, they get nothing out of this alley. And now it's pretty much a stalemate at this point, and no one has even tapped the tower, but we see the junior go down on the side of Ikker NG. And now Ash is going to get that first, so they put the street go down on the side of Ikker NG. And look at it, it's probably going to KO. Two. Two definitely already down. And it does seem like they aren't trying to push tower at all. It's not seem so, but two go down on the side of it's your AC once again and Astro just with a major event, but it do take out the machine, so that could be a big roll. And now if you do get past that second checkpoint and that's gonna be an inner push. Astro just trying to get back in there, but Nazca and not allow that. A good job here by Inkster and Aiden. It was defend, but they already gave us two chambers at the beginning. And if they're not careful, they can get wiped again as they're being put in 3v1. Such great teamwork coming out here by Astro. Like, I, this, this is such great chemistry, such great pairing. Like, this is one thing Astro does better than, than all the other Academy teams. They pair up, they work together so well, and that's how they win their game. 
But as I say that, they go three down. <laughs> and now they're being pushed back. <laughs> Def definitely a really good push though coming up from Astro, but insurance agency just making sure they don't even get past that board anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's a crucial cool spot, but insurance agency needs have to push. They do check out the zap. If they can check out that try, that could be a key to starting your push as Flashdown is caught by the machine. They are now forcing Astro to win this push, and they're not on their own. They need to get on the tower. They have map, they have mid control. Why aren't they getting on the tower, but. As I'm, as I'm saying that, they go two down here, but maybe three down if they're not careful. I swear, commentator's curse is all over you, Stormy. <laughs> I'm just straight bad luck. All my friends so bad. <laughs> and we see uh, Trash here with this thing right, right at the ready. Looks like he can pop anymore, but no, he can snipe by Nick. To Nick. Does seem nice like. IA not getting anyone out there. With Nick barely oh defending God. against that try. Will go down. To... Oh, oh wow! Oh, he just a triple! This nice could be dead! Job. Do we... <laughs> Feels like an, I'm nice insulting job, someone. I, I know, right? But <laughs> I, I was told you I told you about this machine here. On the side of Astro, he is amazing. He does really well, keeps control for his team, walks down areas, finds his pick, and he is a sole member of Astro. As they push all the way down to 13, and this is going to be Do trouble. You think this is game for one is for that. Astro? At this point, yeah. I just like, from this end, honestly, if you, if you can pay attention, Asian agency and all the matches we see have not scored a single point. They haven't even pushed yet. They haven't even got a pass a hundred. In all of these games, they have not pushed at all. They have no aggression whatsoever, and it seems like Astro is just shutting them down completely. Ooh. They, they still need to get past a hundred. Astro, you think he's still need to get past a hundred? And he's gonna find another pick. I think this is game, Stormy. This is game. This is game. Astro, for this entire set, didn't give extra agency any point. Zero in them all. That was brutal. What I expected to be a very intense close match turned out to just be destruction for Decided Ancient Agency. And maybe it's because they don't have their A game roster, but I still expected it to be a lot more competitive. But Astro just shutting me up. I'll shut up now. Defending <laughs> me up completely and saying, uh, no, we're the better team and we're going to win this. And nice job to them, insurance agency. Uh, it feels bad, but they're now at an 0-3 record, sadly, but they can still come back and probably win some games with their main, with their main roster. As for Astro, they go to a 2-1 record and, like, now in, like, one of the top spots here in the Academy League. But they have a lot of tough matches ahead of them as they still got to fight Eclipse, Merkwood Falcons, and Deadlock, and Outcast Ninja. They still didn't fight them yet. So mm -hmm. they have tough matches ahead of them at this point. So let's see how, they, how it goes for them. But I believe that is the end of all the matches that are supposed to be happening today. And Yes, indeed. That is the end. Well, it's been a lot of fun, Stormy. Indeed, it has. And it's been some conversation alongside you. Uh, just to mention, Team Fighters did drop. So, everyone here. So, you know what? On the bright side, everyone here in the league gets a free win. Everyone here can't say they ain't win any game because Team Fighters dropped. So, they get a free win. So, what? everyone here in the league gets a win. So, you know, congratulations for everyone on that one win. You know? <laughs> yeah, congrats, everyone. <laughs> Y'all did amazing. And, yes, and can we please pull up the schedule for next week so we can see the exciting match that's coming up next time? I do not believe I have the schedule for next week, unfortunately. You, you suck. Bruh, okay. <laughs> did not plan it's that right, forehead. Dude. It's alright, it's understandable. <laughs> but uh, come back next come back, please come back next weekend. Tomorrow we do have the pro stream, the pro league, 
of some really strong, one of the top teams here in the NA in North America. So we would love for y'all guys to come on and support them. Well, I think it's our cue to have a five-minute break so we can have an interview with Astros captain Space coming off that amazing 3-0 win. Let's go, Space. I love Space. That's my guy. Let's go, Space. And I yeah. can't wait to see you later. Oh. It's been fun, everyone. And say goodbye to Stormy. Wait, what? Wait, I gotta go? Oh, wait, I thought I was staying for the interview. <laughs> I mean, you can stay if you want. Uh, I'm gonna stay. What you mean? <laughs> All righty, then. Get... <laughs> Getting Stormy and Astro. It's the double combo. I I mean space. It's the it's the combo. The wombo combo. <laughs> well, that ain't Falco. Goodbye everyone. On July 25th, 2020, the world came together to capture a single day. Produced by Ridley Scott, directed by Kevin MacDonald.
We are back, everyone. Wel welcome, Space. You guys can unmute now. <gasps> Thank you, Toxic Gooby, mm. for a follow. Indeed. We're here with the Andrew Witt. The captain of Astro Space himself. Say hello, Space, if you're here. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm wait, was that, I'm... wait, wait, was that Ron that's supposed to be Was that Ron that's supposed to be It was her space. We're glad to, we're glad to have you here. Uh, yeah, thanks you... for having me. Yeah, definitely. No problem, no problem. Coming off that hype 3-0 win, no less. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. What do you have to say about that win? Uh, I would say I think we weren't expecting it either. We just, you know, keep doing what we're doing and uh, using call outs, communication. Um, credit to my teammates. They played, everyone played well. I thought we did an awesome job these past few weeks and we're going to try, try to keep it going. Definitely, Amazing. definitely. Uh, so, I, uh, how did your team meet, or how did you guys form? Um, a long time ago, um, I used to recruit a lot of FAs, and um, we just, we were on a long break for a very long time, and we got dweeb recently, and he's just been active with us and the rest of the team, we've just been doing practices with the team and then doing more tournaments and stuff so pretty much all but yeah amazing amazing very very i'm very happy to see i like i haven't we haven't seen ash i've seen astro a little bit in different little bit of tournaments i haven't seen a little squid league and you guys play in that i feel you guys will definitely win that yeah i know we've been winning on or not not winning but um We've been trying to do a little Squid League for quite some time, but haven't really found the right time because we couldn't do an obviously the LSL Invitational in February. Uh, and in January, we weren't active that much, not going to lie. Uh, okay, and then okay. we were planning to do Ink Theory, but the owner, Snowpoke, decided that it wasn't going to be hosted in February. But we did Minnow Cope Cup. The week that we almost beat Eternal, we went to mm, inform that right. had some close matches, but yeah, that's pretty good. You know, yeah. you guys have de you guys are definitely impressing all of us here at the Academy League, including the spectators. A lot of <laughs> hype behind it, especially after that set with Eternal, that really close set. Like, yeah, that was, was insane, that was but... no joke. Yeah, like commenting in that set, amazing to watch. You guys are a strong team, and you know I was talking about who would win. I did go with insurance agency. Obviously, I dodged y'all a little bit too much. You got? Did you guys hear me or something? Because you guys just came out and said, uh, "Shut up, Stormy." Y'all heard me. Oh. <laughs> I told peace. I told the Rest team peace, about like halfway through the first zone match. You know, this is why no one beats us at zones. <laughs> Yo, I just like, told our team, you know, <laughs> this is why we're in the spot we're in. Because of, you know, all the stuff that we've been doing recently. And this is why, you know, we're going to try to continue to prove people wrong. Show us who, you know, who you are. Definitely. Yo, the confidence. That's what I like. You see, this is a true essence of a captain right here. Definitely. Instead of hearing, when they hear, when they hear negative comments, they take it and make it positive. And that's exactly what they did with my comment. Even though it wasn't exactly negative, it was more just doubting them, and they just yeah, proved no, me wrong. It's all respect, because it's like just... I mean, if I was a commentator, I'd be the same thing, you know, if, like, if, if like for instance, I was facing, you know, who's going to win off of, like, you know, past results and how team plays. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all right. respect, but, yeah. Of course. I well, called it, though. <laughs> all right. I gotta... I know... I know, uh... Uh, I know that Zach isn't here, but I'm a 
I'm gonna fill this spirit real quick and oh, give you a Zach please, White question. Please I'm gonna do. give you a Zach White question. All right, Zach, I won't disappoint you. All right, here we go. If you own, would you rather on a boat or would you rather on a train? What about a spaceship? Is like their. I said a boat or a train. Fun. Would you rather um, on a boat or a train? A, that's a weird question. Um. <laughs> exactly. It, 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 it's it's that question. Zach that's why I asked it. Yes. <laughs> This energy. Um, I'd pick a boat. Why not? Boats are. Let's go. Woo! BFC. <laughs> I pick a train. I go choo choo. Just all day. Yo, but you can have like a full on like boat horn. Like. <laughs> True, you're like, right. Train you're right. horn versus <laughs> boat horn. Yo, you're right. Splash. That's the idea for Splatoon 3. Both versus train. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nice having you here, Space, and we will definitely be cheering you on for the rest of this season. And for the people who don't know who Astro is, give the people a reason why they should cheer y'all on. Thank you. Thanks for having me, too. No problem. The so give the people a reason why. Give, give the people a reason why they should cheer y'all on. Thank you. Um, All right. <laughs> give a reason why people should cheer you on. Um, me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, give give reason people to cheer Astro on. Astro. I mean, we, okay, so this week, we thought we were actually going to get 3 0 because we were having Wi Fi problems. Tox was in a snowstorm, and then there was construction around all, my area. Oh, no. So we only had two days to practice. Just Ooh. two. Wow. We did Let's one go. on Thursday, one on Friday, and then we did some league before this. That's all. Definitely That's putting nice. in That's the awesome. effort, though. Just Agreed. trying to play That's as honestly... much as possible. That's yeah. honestly more yeah. preparation than most teams have, honestly, but... We've been with that. I'm glad you guys had that mindset of we gotta be ready for this matchup. And I can definitely we can definitely tell the practice paid off coming in the stream. Also, the Congratulations. Very, oh go ahead. No, I'm good. Go ahead, dude. Also, very glad that whoever went through that snowstorm still has power. That Agreed. Yeah. He uh he gained power I think around Wednesday. Or Thursday? Can't remember. So we just practiced in and then kept doing what we were doing and just tried to. And we did some before this match. And then, you know, we just played. And that's really all. Nice job. But we'll, well, we'll, take, we'll take what we can get for sure. Of for course. Sure. Of course. Of course. Well, go to you guys for the rest of the season. It was nice having you. And thanks for doing an interview with us. Yeah, thank you All so right. much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Well, today has been chock full of amazing, amazing events. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, I was expecting the first match to be done, but not the second match. But with that being said, we do hope that you guys enjoy watching this stream. Please come support the Pro League tomorrow. We got one of the best that North America has to offer, has to offer. So come on and support us tomorrow. And also don't forget, Amateur League is also on Fridays. So just make sure to hit up all three. <laughs> Indeed. Well, well, it was not, it was a nice stream, it's over. So I'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.